Here are the tools you'll need. Begin by loading the retaining nut onto the cable. Measure and mark cable jacket. Refer to assembly instruction for length. Teflon jackets like this can be creased for easier trimming and stripping. Remove jacket to expose braid shield. Apply capped on tape to the end of the braid shield. Trim away excess tape. Load braid ferrule onto cable, noting the proper orientation. Seat braid ferrule up against cable jacket. Remove capped on tape and flare out braid shield. Fold braid shield over braid ferrule. Cut and remove cable spline. Carefully unwrap one of the twisted pairs. Set thermal strippers to a depth of 0.115 inches. Remove jacket to expose conductor. Load contact onto conductor. Set tool according to guide on positioner. Rewrap signal pair with foil shield. Tape end of foil with capped on tape. Trim away excess foil shield. Leave 50 thou inches of exposed insulation to prevent shorting. Install cross spacer. Arrange cable pairs according to proper orientation. Place inner insulator and seat contacts. Outer insulator key should go over brown and brown-white wire pair. Install outer insulator. Brush out braid shield. Trim braid at ferrule knuckle. Align polarization key of contact shell with tool keyway. Load outer body contact shell into 600-236 alignment tool. Preload the inner cable assembly into outer contact shell. Ensure retaining nut is positioned against ferrule. Use insert tool 600-242 to fully seat assembly into contact shell. Ensure that assembly is fully inserted into the outer socket body. Remove contact from installation tool. Tighten retaining nut to a range of 5 to 8 inch pounds. This completes the termination process.